Handling disrespect effectively is crucial for maintaining your dignity, self-respect, and the integrity of your relationships. Here are several smart ways to manage disrespect, whether in personal or professional contexts. 1. Stay calm and composed. Staying calm and composed in the face of disrespect is a vital strategy for managing difficult interactions and maintaining your sense of self-worth and dignity. Here's a detailed exploration of how to effectively implement this approach. Why staying calm matters. 1. Prevents escalation. Reacting emotionally can escalate the situation, leading to further disrespect or conflict. A calm demeanor can help de-escalate tension. 2. Maintains control. By staying composed, you maintain control over the interaction rather than allowing the disrespectful behavior to dictate your response. 3. Enhances clarity. A clear mind helps you assess the situation logically, enabling you to respond thoughtfully instead of impulsively. 4. Sets a positive example. Your calmness can influence the other person, potentially leading them to reconsider their behavior. Techniques for staying calm. 1. Take deep breaths. Physiological response. Deep breathing helps regulate your heart rate and reduce feelings of anxiety or anger. A couple of deep breaths can ground you before you respond. Practice beforehand. In preparation for potential disrespectful situations, practice deep breathing techniques when you are calm, so they are easier to implement when emotions run high. 2. Pause and reflect. Delay your response, give yourself a moment to process the comment or action. This pause can be as brief as a few seconds or as long as you need to regain your composure. Assess emotionally, ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Understanding your emotional trigger can help you process your feelings and respond more rationally. 3. Maintain body language. Adopt open body language, keep an open posture, avoid crossing your arms, and maintain a relaxed demeanor. This not only communicates your calmness but can also help you feel more composed. Eye contact and facial expressions. Maintain appropriate eye contact and keep your facial expressions neutral. Avoid showing signs of anger or frustration. 4. Use a mindfulness technique. Stay present, focus on the moment, discarding any thoughts about past grievances or future interactions. Being present decreases anxiety and promotes a more rational response. Acknowledge your feelings, recognize your feelings of disrespect or hurt without letting them overwhelm you. You might tell yourself, I feel disrespected but I can handle this. 5. Practice self-talk. Use positive affirmations, remind yourself that you are in control and capable of handling this situation. Phrases like, I can respond effectively, or, I am calm and in control, can reinforce your ability to remain composed. Reframe negative thoughts, instead of thinking, this person is being rude to me, reframe it to, this person is having a tough day, and their behavior doesn't define who I am. 6. Have a default response. Prepare responses, think of mild, neutral responses you can use when faced with disrespect, such as, I'd prefer to have a respectful conversation, or, can we discuss this in a more constructive way? Use out-of-body perspective, consider how you would advise a friend in a similar situation. This perspective can often help you respond more rationally. Long-term practices. 1. Building emotional resilience. Engage in regular practices like meditation, yoga, or mindfulness exercises that help you build overall emotional control and resilience. Reflect on previous encounters and analyze what techniques worked best for you to stay calm. 2. Seek feedback and support. After a situation, discuss it with someone you trust. They can provide you with outside perspectives on how calm you were and suggest areas for improvement. Attend workshops or sessions on conflict resolution or emotional intelligence to enhance your skills in handling disrespect. 3. Practice empathy. Putting yourself in the other person's shoes can often reduce feelings of anger and frustration, encouraging a more composed response. Consider what might be motivating their disrespectful behavior. Conclusion. 
Remaining calm and composed when faced with disrespect is not about suppressing your emotions but rather about managing them effectively. This strategy enables you to engage constructively rather than reactively, facilitating healthier communication outcomes. By mastering these techniques, you not only protect your own dignity but also set the stage for more respectful interactions in the future. 2. Address it directly. Addressing disrespect directly is a proactive and assertive strategy that can help you maintain your dignity while promoting healthy communication. By confronting disrespect in a direct manner, you give yourself the opportunity to express your feelings and set clear boundaries. Here's a detailed exploration of how to effectively implement this approach. Why addressing disrespect directly is important. 1. Promotes honesty. Direct communication fosters an environment of openness, allowing you to express how you feel about the disrespectful behavior without ambiguity. 2. Encourages responsibility. Addressing the disrespect directly prompts the other person to take responsibility for their actions or words. 3. Establishes boundaries. It makes it clear what behaviors you consider unacceptable, helping to set boundaries for future interactions. 4. Reduces resentment. Ignoring disrespectful behavior can lead to resentment over time. Addressing it helps you process your feelings and alleviate long-term frustration. Techniques for addressing disrespect directly. 1. Choose the right moment. Timing and setting. Find an appropriate time and place to discuss the disrespectful behavior. A private setting is often best, as it reduces embarrassment for both parties and encourages open dialogue. Avoiding high-stress situations, choose a moment when emotions are not running high. Engaging when both parties are calm creates a better atmosphere for conversation. 2. Use I statements. Express your feelings, frame your response using I statements to express how the behavior affected you, such as, I felt hurt when you said, this language helps keep the focus on your feelings rather than sounding accusatory. Example. Instead of saying, you're being rude, you might say, I felt disrespected by your comment during the meeting. 3. Be specific and clear. Identify the behavior, clearly and specifically describe the behavior that you found disrespectful. This helps the other person understand exactly what they did that upset you. Example, when you interrupted me while I was speaking, it made me feel like my opinions were not valued. 4. Ask for clarification. Encourage dialogue, engage in a conversation by asking for the other person's perspective. This can create an opportunity for them to reflect on their behavior. Example, can you help me understand why you chose to say that? This invites them to provide their rationale, which might reveal a misunderstanding. 5. Set boundaries. Communicate limits. Make it clear what you consider acceptable and unacceptable behavior moving forward. This establishes a standard for future interactions. Example, I appreciate open discussion, but I need to ask that we treat each other respectfully during our conversations. 6. Confident Stay tone. assertive but Use respectful. a calm but assertive tone that conveys your seriousness about the issue without being confrontational. Respectful language, avoid name-calling or inflammatory language. Your goal is to communicate effectively, not to escalate the situation. 7. Be open to feedback. Listen actively, after expressing yourself, listen to the other person's response. They may provide insights or apologize, and recognizing their perspective can help resolve the issue. Engage in problem solving, if appropriate, discuss how you can both improve your communication moving forward to prevent similar situations. 8. Reiterate your commitment to respect. Emphasize constructive communication. After addressing the disrespect, reiterate your commitment to having respectful and constructive exchanges in the future. Example, I value our relationship and want to ensure we communicate in a way that respects both of us. Long-term strategies. 1. Document patterns of behavior. If disrespect is a recurring issue, Keep a record of specific instances, including dates and what was said or done. This can help clarify situations when addressing the issue formally. 
It also provides context if you need to elevate the matter to others, e.g., HR in a workplace. 2. Engage others if necessary. If direct communication does not lead to improved behavior, consider seeking the intervention of a third party, such as a supervisor or HR representative, especially in a professional environment. Use the documented instances to illustrate your perspective clearly and objectively. 3. Reflect on your approaches. After addressing disrespect, take time to reflect on how the conversation went. Consider what worked well and where you could improve for future interactions. Regularly engaging in self-reflection can enhance your skills in navigating difficult conversations. 4. Set boundaries. Setting boundaries is a crucial strategy for handling disrespect effectively. Boundaries help define what is acceptable behavior in your interactions with others and protect your emotional well-being. When you clearly communicate your limits, you not only safeguard your own dignity but also encourage a respectful environment. Here's a detailed breakdown of how to effectively set boundaries when addressing disrespect. Why setting boundaries is important. 1. Self-protection. Boundaries help protect your self-esteem and emotional health by preventing others from mistreating you. 2. Clarity and expectation. Clearly defined boundaries provide guidance on what you expect from others, reducing misunderstandings and ambiguity. 3. Encouraging respect. When you set boundaries, you signal to others that you value your self-respect and expect the same from them. 4. Promoting healthy relationships. Establishing boundaries can lead to healthier interactions, fostering mutual respect and understanding. Steps to effectively set boundaries. 1. Identify your boundaries. Self-reflection. Take the time to reflect on what behaviors you find disrespectful and intolerable. This can include verbal insults, interruptions, dismissive gestures, or any other conduct that undermines your dignity. Recognize triggers. Understanding your emotional triggers helps you identify situations where you might need to set boundaries. Determine which actions or comments make you feel disrespected or uncomfortable. 2. Communicate clearly. Be direct and specific. When setting a boundary, be clear and articulate about your expectations. Vague boundaries can lead to confusion and may not be respected. Example, instead of saying, don't be rude, specify, I need you to listen without interrupting when I speak. 3. Use I statements. Express your feelings, frame your boundary setting discussions with I statements to express how the other person's behavior impacts you. This approach focuses on your feelings rather than blaming them, making it more likely they'll respond positively. Example, I feel uncomfortable when sarcasm is used in our discussions. I prefer more respectful communication. 4. Be assertive and firm. Maintain confidence, use a confident tone and body language when stating your boundaries. Avoid a passive or apologetic approach which can signal weakness and dismissal of your own standards. Stand your ground, if your boundary is disregarded, reiterate it calmly and firmly. Consistency is key in establishing and maintaining boundaries. 5. Acknowledge consequences. Outline outcomes for violating boundaries, make it clear that there are consequences if the boundaries are ignored. These consequences can include reducing interactions, involving a supervisor in a professional setting, or altering the nature of your relationship. Example, if this type of sarcasm continues, I will need to excuse myself from our conversations. 6. Reinforce your boundaries. Consistent communication, if someone crosses your boundary, address it promptly. Restate your boundary respectfully, reinforcing that you are serious about your limits. Example, I mentioned earlier that I would prefer not to be interrupted. Can we please focus on listening to each other? 7. Practice self-care. Prioritize yourself, recognize that setting boundaries is an important aspect of self-care. By protecting yourself from disrespect, you're taking positive steps for your well-being. Monitor your emotional health, after setting boundaries, pay attention to how you feel. If respect improves, that's a positive result.
If disrespect continues, reassess the effectiveness of your boundary-setting efforts. 8. Be prepared for pushback. Stay calm under pressure, some may react negatively to your boundaries. Prepare yourself emotionally for potential defensiveness or manipulation, and remain calm in your stance. Restate your position, if pushed back upon, reiterate your need for respect. For example, I understand this might be a surprise, but respect in our communication is important to me. Long-term strategies for maintaining boundaries. 1. Regularly review and adjust. Reflect on your boundaries, periodically assess whether your boundaries are being respected and whether they need to be adjusted based on changes in relationships or circumstances. 2. Model boundary setting behavior. Lead by example, demonstrate boundary setting behavior in your interactions with others. This can encourage reciprocal respect and boundary setting in your relationships. 3. Educate others. Share your values, if appropriate, explain why your boundaries are important to your personal values or culture. Helping others understand the significance can foster respect for those boundaries. 4. Choose not to engage. Choosing not to engage when faced with disrespect can be a powerful and effective strategy for maintaining your dignity and emotional well-being. It involves recognizing the situation and consciously deciding to refrain from responding or reacting in a way that could escalate tensions or lead to further negativity. Here's a detailed exploration of this approach. Why choosing not to engage is important. 1. Preserve your energy. Engaging with disrespect can be emotionally draining. Choosing not to engage allows you to conserve your energy for more productive conversations or activities. 2. Avoid escalation. Disrespectful interactions can often escalate into arguments or conflict. By not engaging, you can help defuse the situation and prevent it from worsening. 3. Establish self-control. Not reacting impulsively shows that you are in control of your emotions and responses. It conveys that you won't be easily provoked. 4. Maintain your dignity. By choosing to disengage, you uphold your self-respect and demonstrate that you refuse to tolerate disrespectful behavior. Techniques for choosing not to engage. 1. Recognize the signs of disrespect. Awareness. Pay attention to verbal and nonverbal cues of disrespect such as sarcasm, insults, dismissive comments, or negative body language. The first step to disengaging is to recognize when someone is being disrespectful. 2. Pause before reacting. Take a moment. When confronted with disrespect, take a brief moment to breathe and consider your options before responding. This pause helps you manage immediate emotional reactions. Avoid impulsive responses, in that pause, Remind yourself that you have the choice to respond or not. This helps prevent impulsive reactions that can lead to escalation. 3. Assess the situation. Evaluate the context, consider whether engaging in the conversation is worth your time and energy. Is the person likely to respond positively or defensively? Will your engagement lead to a constructive outcome? Recognize patterns. If this is a recurring issue with the same person, it may be wiser to disengage altogether rather than expect a different response. 4. Practice mindfulness. Stay grounded, utilize mindfulness techniques to stay present and calm in the face of disrespect. Focus on your breath or the sensations in your body to manage your emotional state. Accept your feelings, it's normal to feel hurt or angry when faced with disrespect. Acknowledge your feelings without letting them dictate your actions. 5. Use nonverbal cues. Body language. Sometimes, your body language can communicate disengagement effectively. Avoid eye contact, maintain a neutral expression, or physically step away from the interaction. Silence. A deliberate silence in response to a disrespectful comment can signal that you refuse to engage. This can show your disapproval without escalating the situation. 6. Politely exit the conversation. Set an exit strategy. If the conversation becomes disrespectful, excuse yourself politely. You can say something like, 
I think it's best I step away from this discussion for now. Use neutral language, maintain a calm tone and neutral language when exiting to avoid inflaming the situation further. 7. Redirect your attention. Focus on something else, when faced with disrespect, redirect your attention to a task, conversation, or activity that uplifts your mood or engages your mind. This could be stepping away to talk to someone else, starting a different activity, or concentrating on work. Engage in positive interactions, shift your focus to positive relationships and interactions. Spend time with people who respect you and create an encouraging environment. 8. Reflect on the encounter. Post-interaction reflection, after choosing not to engage, take time to reflect on the encounter. Consider what led to the disrespect, how you felt, and what you might do if it happens again. Learn from the experience, use the reflection as an opportunity for personal growth. Did your decision to disengage help? Would you approach it differently in the future? Long-term strategies for choosing not to engage. 1. Cultivate emotional resilience. Develop coping mechanisms, engage in activities that strengthen your resilience, such as mindfulness meditation, journaling, or deep breathing exercises. These practices can help you manage emotional reactions in the moment. 2. Establish a support system. Connect with trusted people, share your experiences with friends, family, or colleagues who can offer support and advice. This helps reinforce your decision to stand firm against disrespect. 3. Prioritize self-respect and well-being. Self-affirmation, regularly remind yourself of your values and the importance of self-respect. 5. Model respectful behavior. Modeling respectful behavior is a proactive and effective strategy for handling disrespect, particularly in social, professional, or interpersonal settings. By exemplifying the respect you wish to receive, you not only uphold your own standards of conduct but potentially encourage others to reciprocate that respect. Here's a detailed explanation of how to model respectful behavior in response to disrespect. Why modeling respectful behavior is important. 1. Sets a positive example. When you demonstrate respectful behavior, you create a standard for how interactions should occur. Others may follow your lead, fostering a more respectful environment. 2. Reinforces your values. By consistently acting in a respectful manner, you affirm your own values and principles, contributing to your self-esteem and integrity. 3. Encourages healthy communication. Modeling respect promotes constructive dialogue, leading to improved relationships and reduced misunderstandings. 4. Creates a culture of respect. In broader groups, such as teams or organizations, leaders and individuals who model respect can influence the overall culture, making it less tolerant of disrespectful behavior. Techniques for modeling respectful behavior. 1. Demonstrate active listening. Engage fully, show that you value others' opinions by giving them your full attention while they speak. This includes making eye contact, nodding in acknowledgement, and refraining from interrupting. Validate feelings, acknowledge others' emotions or viewpoints even if you disagree. You can say, I understand that you feel strongly about this, and I appreciate your perspective. This encourages reciprocal respect. 2. Use respectful language. Choose your words wisely, communicate in a manner that is polite and considerate, avoiding harsh or dismissive language. Using courteous language sets a standard for how others should communicate with you. Remain calm and composed, maintain a calm tone, especially in challenging situations. A composed demeanor can diffuse tension and encourage others to respond similarly. 3. Express appreciation. Acknowledge contributions, recognize and appreciate the efforts and opinions of others. Simple expressions of gratitude can foster goodwill and demonstrate respect. Example, thank you for sharing your ideas on the project, I really value your input. This encourages a culture where respect is reciprocated. 4. Set boundaries with respect. Clearly communicate limits. When someone behaves disrespectfully, calmly and respectfully express your boundaries. 
For instance, you might say, I am open to discussing this, but I need us to do so without interruptions. Example in action, when faced with sarcasm, you could respond respectfully, I prefer our conversations to be constructive, and I'd like us to focus on solutions. 5. Handle conflict gracefully. Address issues constructively, when conflicts arise, address them respectfully by focusing on the problem rather than personal attacks. This approach encourages a healthier resolution process. Example, I disagree with that point, but let's explore the reasons behind our differing opinions. This fosters open dialogue rather than defensiveness. 6. Be mindful of nonverbal communication. Body language, ensure that your nonverbal cues, gestures, facial expressions, posture, align with your respectful intentions. Avoid crossing your arms or rolling your eyes, which can convey disrespect. Positive signals, use open and welcoming body language, such as maintaining eye contact, nodding, and leaning slightly forward to show engagement. 7. Practice empathy. Put yourself in others' shoes, try to understand the motivations and feelings of others, especially when they are disrespectful. This can help you respond with compassion rather than anger. Demonstrate understanding, showing empathy can de-escalate potential disrespect. You might say, I can see why you might feel that way, let's try to find a common ground. 8. Respond to disrespect calmly. Address disrespect appropriately, if someone is disrespectful, you can respond respectfully by saying something like, I find that comment inappropriate, and I would appreciate if we could keep our conversation respectful. Maintain composure. By remaining calm and respectful in the face of hostility, you model the behavior you wish to see, often disarming the other person. Long-term strategies for modeling respectful behavior. 1. Create a culture of respect. Lead by example in leadership roles. If you're in a position of authority, your behavior sets the tone for others. Promote respectful standards and norms within your team or organization. Encourage collective responsibility. Promote a team or group dialogue about respect. Encourage everyone to share their thoughts on what respect looks like in their interactions. Conclusion Respect is a two-way street, and handling disrespect is not about winning a battle but about maintaining your self-respect and integrity. The above strategies can help you navigate disrespectful situations effectively while preserving your dignity and fostering healthier relationships. Remember, it's essential to adapt your approach based on the context and the individuals involved.